What's up tech community? My name is Noah and this is 910 Tech. It's been a while since I've been able to produce a video, but now that I'm on winter break, I'll be able to make a couple before having to go back to school and take midterms. In my past video, I hinted that I may buy a Moto X Peer, and after rethinking a couple things, I might not. I saw this as a perfect opportunity to compare three Android phones that have very similar price points. Because of their similarity in price and specs, I'm going to do a showdown between the Nexus 5X, the Moto X Peer, and the OnePlus 2. All of these phones have decent specifications and at least one clear advantage over the other. Keep in mind that all of these phones are great in every one of these categories, but one or two of them do a better job. Before I start, let me remind you that the invite system for the OnePlus 2 is gone, and with it gone, the OnePlus 2 is an even more compelling buy now that it's available to everyone. Also, things such as form factor and software are honestly your preference. Personally, I find the Moto X Pure way too big, and the OnePlus 2 and Nexus 5X more manageable. I'm also a fan of the Nexus 5X's small form factor. And when it comes to operating systems, all three phones run pure stock Android, with the exception of the OnePlus 2 and the Moto X Pure running slightly altered versions of it. Stock Android on Nexus phones is really smooth and gets frequent updates, and then Motorola and OnePlus have a very light play on stock Android, which add nifty features such as Moto enhancements, which gives you features such as double twisting your phone to launch the camera and double chopping the phone to activate the LED torch or the flash. And OnePlus is a little customizations in Oxygen OS, which can allow you to add a dark theme or double tap the screen to wake or their nifty shelf view. So the way this is going to work is I'm going to compare each phone in different categories and the one that wins the category or the phones that tie will receive points. So let's start with design. All three of these phones look spiffy. I'm not going to give any points yet because this is more on preference and one is not really better than the other. But to me, the Pure and the OnePlus 2 feel more premium because of the metal bands that surround both phones. The Nexus 5X's chassis is mostly plastic and the buttons are a little mushy. So the first category where I'm going to give points is screen. The Nexus 5X and the OnePlus 2 both have great 1080p screens, but there's no denying that the Pure has the best screen of the three phones in this comparison. It has a large 5.7 inch crispy 2K display, great for media consumption. However, after using the phone in person, I came to the realization that I enjoyed using the x Pure's little brother, the third generation Moto G, more than the Pure itself. The Pure seems like a blown up Moto G, and I don't particularly like that. It's sort of like the iPad's version of iOS. It seems like a blown up iPhone. So the Moto X Pure wins this round. Next we're going to talk about performance. The Peer and the 5X both pack a Snapdragon 808, a hex-core mobile processor, while the OnePlus 2 packs a Snapdragon 810, an octa-core mobile processor. Although it is slightly underclocked because of slight thermal issues, the OnePlus is definitely snappier than its competitors. But all three of these phones run very smooth and you'll be happy with either one of the three. However, the OnePlus 2 takes this round. Next we're going to talk about memory. 5X has 2 gigs, the Pure has 3 gigs, and the OnePlus 2 has 4 gigabytes of RAM. There's no discussing the winner here, and once again, it's the OnePlus 2. After watching several videos, I noticed that the OnePlus 2 takes a little bit more time opening completely closed apps. But when it comes to multitasking, when you go to the app switcher, most of the apps that you opened before are right there, ready to be used instantly. This makes the OnePlus 2 a true multitasking device. The baseline sub $400 5X and X Pure come with 16 gigs of internal storage. However, the Pure has micro SD expansion, which is a godsend. The OnePlus 2, on the other hand, comes with 64 gigs of storage under $400, which I think is the best value of the three. I think 16 gigs of internal storage is unacceptable for most users this year, so the 5X is definitely put to shame here. I believe this is a tie between the Moto X Pure and the OnePlus 2 because the Moto X Pure comes with micro SD expansion and the OnePlus 2 comes with a ton of storage for a great price. Next is battery. 
The 5X packs a 2300 milliamp hour battery, the Pure packs a 3000 milliamp hour battery, and the OnePlus 2 packs a 3300 milliamp hour battery. I think I'm starting to see a trend here. Anyway, all of these phones have admirable battery life, but obviously since the OnePlus 2 and the Moto X Pure have a bigger battery, they're going to last longer. Both the X Pure and the OnePlus 2 have similar battery life, but since the Moto X Pure has Motorola's incredible turbo charging, it wins this round. Before I move on, I'd like to add that the Nexus 5X also has quick charging as well as Doze in Android M, so I'm going to give it a little credit. When it comes to camera, I'm not really going to compare because they all perform about the same. But there are slight differences though, and if a camera is really important to you in a phone, you may want to look into them. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to say that they perform similarly. All I'm going to add is, is that the OnePlus 2 has optical image stabilization while the Pier and 5X have digital stabilization. So I'm going to give the OnePlus 2 a little credit here as well. When it comes to security, the Nexus 5X wins because it's running stock Android and because of its superior biometric fingerprint scanner compared to the OnePlus 2's fingerprint scanner and the Pure not having one at all. But that's not saying that the Moto X Pure and the OnePlus 2 are not secure phones. They are. But comparing the three, the Nexus 5 wins. When it comes to mobile payment, both the 5X and Moto X Pure have NFC while the OnePlus 2 does not. This was a big letdown, and that's one of the reasons why people do not buy the OnePlus 2. So I'm going to give a point to both the 5X and the Moto X Peer. And the last category would be sound or speaker quality. I'm not going to even discuss this. The Moto X Peer has the best audio hands down because of its two front-facing stereo speakers. I'm going to make an extra category that lists some things that I may not have mentioned. The 5X and OnePlus 2 both pack USB-C, so I'm going to give them a little credit. And the OnePlus 2 has a mute-like switch on the iPhone, which is really useful. Now, like I said, all of these phones are great choices. They're very close in comparison. Since I love tech, I'd love to own all three. But if I had to own one, remember this is my opinion, I would buy the OnePlus 2. It seems like the best value to me overall. But I'll remind you, reasons to buy the Moto X Pure would be its awesome software enhancements, turbo charging, and Moto Maker, a way to build your phone to your liking, which I forgot to mention. And reasons to buy the Nexus 5X would be its running stock Android, which runs smooth and gets consistent updates, its small form factor, and its insanely fast and reliable fingerprint scanner. I really hope this video helped you out if you're trying to decide between these three phones. If you haven't already noticed, I used some of Android Authority's clips and a lot of Marquez's clips. My job as a creator is to make the best content I possibly can, and Marquez especially sets that standard. I don't have the equipment or money to get those kind of clips. And just to let you know, using others' clips does not make the video editing process any easier. This video so far has taken me about 5 hours or more to edit. I did put due credit, but if it is a problem, I'm sorry Marquez, I just had to use those beautiful 4K crispy shots. Same goes to you Android Authority. I'll also put their reviews of the Nexus 5X, OnePlus 2, and Moto X Pure in the video description down below. If you don't know who they are, you should check both channels out because they are worthwhile. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. I may upload another video of a possible Christmas gift. It might be a wall monitor mount or a pair of speakers. I'm not sure. All I know is it takes me a long time to edit these videos because I care about quality over quantity and I want you, the viewer, to enjoy my content more than anything else. Have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.